Present arm. Fourth arm. Right shoulder. Arms. Right face. Oh. I said right face. Right face. This is my right face. Oh, boy, are you ugly. My mother likes me. Some people like monkeys. And now, folks, I guess you're wondering why we're wearing these uniforms. Well, every year on the anniversary when we got out of the armed forces, we put these uniforms on just to reminisce. Now we're going to tell you some of the narrow escapes we had during the First World War. Our lunch. I forgot our lunch. I forgot. Go get it. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up with that lunch. Coming up. Watch me dig in. No, watch me dig in. And speaking of digging, there's plenty of trenches need digging around here. And them enemies ain't gonna sit around on their hammocks while you rockheads have a pink tea party. You understand? All right, then. On your feet and follow me. Aha! Two, three, four. Someday I'm gonna put a bomb in that lunch pail. You've been saying that for two years. Yeah. How many times I gotta tell you never to open our lunch in front of the sergeant? Hop, two, three, four. Left face. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, hey, two, three, where's the four. sergeant? Hop, two, Probably three, behind four. some bush devouring the rest of our lunch. I say we stop and dig right here. Come on, get busy. I want the new super bomb be going to get Raffin and Captain Chicken Flicker. Make ready at once. Marcel, Marcel! So, my fine American spies. We were unable to capture your leader or your company, but you will tell us where they are. No? No. You dare to say no to Van Pump? <laughs> he even dared to say no to Van twice. Hey, look at that. It must be that new German dance they call the Kaiser Roll. Schweinhoff! How do you like that for luck? There goes our fourth for bread. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> One train of the lid and such a boom you gonna hear. <laughs> it is order from Field Marshal Toten Van Toten. The super bomb must be loaded on the plane in one hour for the surprise raid on Captain Eddie Chicken Flicker. Captain Eddie Chicken Flicker? I heard something. Did you hear something? Nein, I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> did you hear nothing? I don't know if I did hear nothing or I didn't hear something. So, I go now. One hour, no? One hour, yes. Today, with my new secret weapon, the super bomb, we fricassee chicken flicker. <laughs> we gotta do something, fellas. We have to find that bomb and blow it up before it's too late. Yeah, we can't let them get Captain Eddie chicken flicker. Not so loud, you bonehead. Somebody is there? Von Von, Von sure right away by his office. Oh, it's you, Adolf. Here, hold it. I go at one to one one. Hey, a lunch pail. I think it's pastrami. This is no time for lunch. We gotta find that super bomb. Mojo, look, the bomb.
any more bright ideas? Well, at least I saved our lunch. Oh, trying to camouflage yourselves so I can't see you eating again, huh? Always making with the food. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, we haven't eaten all day. One turn of the lid, <laughs> and I'm gonna have me a little snack. You meathead! Where will I get my hands on you? I wish I could get my hands on him just once. That's all. Sergeant! Ah, uh, come on, fellas. You ain't scared of your old friend of Sarge. Here I've been looking all over for you on account of how sorry I felt for treating you so crummy. Here, this is for all the lunches I stole. <laughs> how about that? What a guy. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. And I always thought... <laughs> how many times did I tell you never to open a lunch pail in front of the side? <laughs> job, eh? How do I know you guys can handle an axe? That's a cutting remark. Yeah, everybody calls us nutheads. Right, we're regular chips off the old blocks. Okay, you're hired. Grab a saw and start lumbering. Faster, you rockheads. We ain't got all day. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. How come you're in charge? Because I got a stick. So? Now stay with it. Oh, I broke it. There she goes. Okay, you numbskulls, get that saw out of there. Timber! What do you mean you can't cut those trees? Well, there's that bear. He's knocking the devil out of us. Yeah, and he might get tough, too. There ain't no bears up here. Where's your proof? Where do you think we got these? You mugs had pointed heads when I hired you. Now get back to work. He'll give you such a knock. Boy, is he tough. Hello? Any bear in here? Come out, come out, wherever you are. See, there ain't no bear in there. Now quit goofing off. One more complaint and you guys are fired. Anything to keep from working. Sure ain't like the old days. That'll fix his wagon. Sure hope this works. Me too. That bear's giving me a headache. All right, get busy. Timber! <laughs> now what's he up to? Guy. Head for the city, man. We're just been fired. Fired at, you mean.
you lunkheads, all together for the finale. What was that for, you chowderhead? I felt it. Feel that for a change. Now, are there any requests? Yeah. I'm giving you one minute to get out of town. How does it go? Maybe we can fake it. It goes like this. See you guys in Pasadena. I get it. Me too. I'm ashamed of you guys letting a bully like that order us out of town. What are we, a bunch of chickens? <laughs> Stop that. Now, I got a plan. I don't like it already. I'll be right there. What the devil are you doing? I think you hear my mother calling. Okay, just for that, smarty pants, you are going to shoot it out with old Loudmouth. Hey, Loudmouth, I'm waiting for you. Come on out. Are you scared of me, Loudmouth? Look, I'm still in town. What are you afraid of, Loudmouth? You two chicken to fight? That's you, old loudmouth. Uh oh. Draw. Too close, too close. Okay, I'm ready. Make your move. What the? Okay, Curly, let him have it. Yeah. No, no, don't shoot. Come on, come on. to do is get the sheriff. Yeah, he'll probably pin the medal on us. I wonder where he is. Right here. You You're the, the sheriff? sheriff? In person. Know what that means? What? We got one minute to get out of town. Oh, hey, Ray, oh, there. Hey, there. Hey, there. Hey, there. Where do you think you're going? To the dentist. This tooth is killing me. Don't be a knucklehead. I can fix that in two minutes. I got the string. You know, this tooth feels better already. I don't think I have to Shut your trap and open your mouth. This won't hurt a bit, Joe. And we'll save a couple of bucks, too. Oh, swell. Brace yourself. Go ahead. All right. On the count of three. One. Larry, what comes after one? Uh, two. Two? Three. Hiya, fellas. Well, this calls for stronger measures. Tie the string to the door. Good idea. She's tied up tight. Slam away. Right. All set, Joe? Go ahead. What happened? Huh. Maybe you better hold on to him. <laughs> okay. All set again? Slam away. Careful. Here we go. I got it. Every time you got it, I get it. Follow me. Now watch. I sock the ball, and it yanks the string, and the ball comes back and knocks you flat. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So's your face. Well, just don't stand there, lunkhead. Climb the pole. I got the string tied. I hope this works. Don't be ridiculous. This can't fail. The driver takes off, and out pops the tooth. Simple. We sure are. Here he comes now. Uh-oh. See you guys in Mexico. Come on, we gotta save him. We should 
have gone to the dentist. Know something, Mo? Watch that. We're not going to get out of this alive. That's what I like about you. You're such an optimist. Hiya, fellas. Hey, look who dropped in. Huh. I don't remember hitting those squirrels. They caught him. Serves him right. Mean little devil. Look out! <laughs> Recognize anybody we know? Look out! The bridge is rising. Boy, the air is sure clear up here. Yeah, no small. Here we go again. We're in the dentist's office. How about that for luck? Hey. My two sounds. We didn't need a dentist after all. See, just like I planned it. Now remember, you jugheads, bungling brothers are depending upon us. We promised to deliver them an authentic wild man, so keep your eyes open. How come you're not using your head to help carry this thing? I am using my head. I'm thinking. That's right. He's a big thinker. Don't get smart. Hey, look! A native! scoop a doobly doo doodle him off! He must be a witch doctor. Which doctor's that? Never mind. <laughs> scoop a dooby scoop a da scoop a dooby doo da Hey, we're looking for a wild man. Seen any? scoop a doo doo He doesn't understand us. Wait a minute. I'll talk to him in his native tongue. Uh, scoop a scoop a doo Why didn't you say so in the first place, Daddy? Sure, I've seen one of them wild men cats. What's he look like? What the big thinkers say? Scuba duba scuba dee da. He wears dark glasses, plays a magnificent bongo, wears a cute beret, and when he's in trouble, he does a funny bit. Like what? I don't dig. What'd he say? Scuba duba? Oh, well, he yells like this. Ah! Oops. <laughs> Did you put the glue on the vine? From top to bottom, we can't miss. Then grab a hold, you muscle heads, and when I give the signal, pull them down. Uh-oh, here he comes. <laughs> hang on! What do you mean, hang on? We can't let go. We're stuck! Well, then shut up and enjoy the ride. <laughs> you know, this is what I call an embarrassing situation. Well, so long. Flying squirrel, get out of this. We got him. How about it? Is he caught? Ready and ready for delivery. We'd better make sure. in the first place. We can't fail. Uh-oh, here he comes again. Ah! Get set, you jugheads. I'll start the phonograph. This ought to do it. It's Bix. Man, dig that rip. A super duper probably super It's working. We caught ourselves a wild man. That old saying makes sense. Watch that. Music has charms to soothe the savage beatnik. If my hands weren't busy, I'd clobber you for that remark. Scuba, scuba, dow, bootly bop, bop, de bow, scuba, de doo, de doo, de da, bop, de woo, de doo, de bow. I have never 
never seen you clubs before, but those wash rags say car washes to me. You won't be sorry, Chief. Yeah, we're professional washers. My last job was a complete washout. Then get busy. Let's see you put my new frenzy through. She cost me 10,000 bucks, including radio and heater. Right, boss. Come on, you meatheads. I hate a pushy foreman. Back him all set? All set here. Wash is ready? Ready here. Oh, boy. Here goes nothing. There you go, boss. Slick as a whistle. Hmm, not bad. Okay, the job's yours. Thanks, boss. We did it, Mo. We're in. The job's ours. Well, don't just stand there, you lunkheads. Grab some brooms and get busy. And for Pete's sake, watch those hooks. Quick, another customer. Put them through. I'll collect the money at this end. But what if the car falls apart again? Let me worry about that. Get busy. Hmm, no wonder. This rear stat is low. It should be at high. This job's a cinch. Uh-oh, criminy. It's taking everything. Now to clean the tire. Cheap rubber. Uh-oh. That doesn't look right. Better up it a bit more. This should do it. That's strange. I can hardly hold this vacuum. Now we. Holy cats, it's coming apart. No wonder. Just look at the way these wires are jammed in here. Uh-oh, bad vacuum. Turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Oops. Did you bring the cards? Hey! Oh! What a mess. we better stop and start all over. Now, just keep calm, folks. There'll be a slight delay while we put this junk together. Yeah. Anybody got a screwdriver? Or a wrench. That's right, operator. I want my lawyer. Ah! Jeepers, the boss. Ah! Relax, boss. We can handle this little emergency. Swell, but first let's see you handle this. Run for the hills, guys. We're all washed up here. Boy, what a sore head. Yeah, the least little thing and he blows up. Hey, the chatter and step on it. Welcome to the auto race, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, you'll be seeing a lot of your old favorites today. Some of the drivers have driven from as far away as Los Angeles in order to take part in this annual race. Step on it, you lunkheads. The race is about to start. I don't get it. Why are we pushing? To save gas. Wow. And now, drivers, mount up your hustless carriages. The race is about to begin. Clear the track, please. Now, here's our starting lineup. In car number one, Eddie Rutabaga. In car number two, Dirty Dan Dimwitty, last year's champ. Wave to the dirty crowd, Dad. I mean, wave to the crowd, Dirty. Mm. <laughs> oh, Dirty is the unpopular favorite to win this race again, like every year. Uh-oh, get that gang. There goes the gun. All right, who turned out the lights? Maybe they'll call the race on account of doctor. <laughs> I just love these dirty, tricky starts. Hey, let's be going forward. But that's up to the driver. All right, wise guy, this is just a temporary setback. <laughs> I've heard of horsepower, but this is ridiculous. Eddie Rutabaga has the lead, followed closely by Billy Begonia. And wait a minute. 
There goes Dirty Dan Dimwitty. <laughs> He's leading the pack. He's pulling away. But hold it, ladies and gentlemen. Here come the three stooges. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, still trying to catch up with old Dirty Dan, eh? <laughs> So are we. It's nice up here this time of day. Yeah, no traffic. Last one down is a rotten egg. How about that? We're in the lead again. That does it. Something tells me we should have let him pass. Hey, I can see how are you from here. Don't worry, I'll get us down. I don't doubt that for a minute. And here comes the winning all now. Of course, it's Dirty Dad, and wait a minute. It's the three stooges. We got no brakes. Frank! 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 Look, we got the trophy. You never look better, you jughead. We're champs. Nothing can stop us now. You ain't kidding. We'll be traveling clear into next Wednesday. Drag your feet, you knuckleheads. famous friendly detectives. Most important that mystery of pearl bed robberies be solved. Unless you catch pearl thief chop chop, pearl business will be ruined. I get you, Mac. For a thousand pardons for rude interruption, pearl thief has stuck again. We better get busy. How do we find the pearl bed, karate? Oh, you take a freeway to uh, my auto, uh, turn a raft, and uh, you hit ocean. Cannot miss ocean. Very big. Taxi, take us to the nearest ocean and hurry. Atoya Kanasana. What'd he say? Atoya Kanasana. Right. Boy, you're smart. Hey, isn't the driver going with us? Cut the backseat driving. Uh-oh. I agree. We're not making very good time this way. Can't we get more speed out of this crate? Let's find out. I'll put her in overdrive. That's better. <laughs> no one would ever suspect that this clam shell is really a one-man submarine. Oh, what's this on my radar screen? Strangers in the area. Ah, better have a look see. Oh, it's those three pesky uncles from UCLA. Down periscope. This is going to be fun. Those dummies couldn't find sand in the Sahara Desert. Hey, look at that funny-looking octopus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll nail it. It was close, Karate, but he got away. We almost got him, though. Ah, oh, so, if you do not catch him this time, I promise you somebody else will get it. Hey, Mo, are you supposed to drive tanks underwater? How do I know? I didn't read the instructions. Uh oh, they have obtained reinforcements. What a revolting development this is. There he goes, Mo. I can see him, you fuzzhead. Look, he's escaping into that big cave. That's no cave, it's a monster whale. Let's get out of here. Hey, look! Never have I been so embarrassed. Welcome aboard, Dunk. Yeah, long time no see. We're taking you for a ride. Yeah, right to the Hoosgau. No need to feel bad. We got Count Dunkula out of your head, didn't we? Ah, so. But also got rid of pearl beds. Pearl business completely wiped out. Have you ever thought of raising goldfish? <sighs> Would much rather raise samurai sword. I get it. See you guys in Cucamonga. Wait for me. Sorry to have to leave, amigo. And another 
Concentrate, Captain. They've knocked out our lines of communication. If we don't get a phone up there in a hurry, we're in big trouble. Do you read me, Captain? Son, it's taken me 30 years to become a general. Now, unless you remember that, you're in big trouble. Understand? Yes, sir, General. Hmm. Now, where can I find three screwballs nutty enough to volunteer for this dangerous mission? Yeah. Now, don't let that line get fouled up, you knuckleheads, and for Pete's sake, keep it quiet. If the enemy hears us, we'll get clobbered. Hello? This is Big Lou. I'm laying off 20 grand on Ida Red in the tight race in Santa Anita. If she loses, you're in trouble. What the heck's wrong with this phone? We ought to let General Lucis know where we are. Yeah, maybe he can send us some help. Good idea. Hello? Hello? What number were you calling? Operator, I want General Newsom. One moment, please. General Newsom, we got a problem. That's right, sir. You'd better get some help to us right away. We're getting clobbered. Oh, I know it's a big request, sir. But get a hold of yourself. This is ridiculous. They got our range again. Who did this go at a time like this? Careful now. We're almost there. Hello? Who? One moment. It's for you. Hello? Oh, hello, Mama. Yes, Mama. We're all right. Yes, Mama. I'll tell him. Goodbye, Mama. That was Mama. She says, be nice boys and don't fight. Mothers are like that. Excuse us, sir. We're looking for Captain Holcomb. Uh, General von Vons do. Now, do you have any ridiculous last requests that I can turn down? Hello, General von Vons here, Gushbeken. Who? One moment. It's for you. Thank you. Hello? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You bet, sir. I'll tell him, sir. Hold on. Well? General Newsom says either you guys surrender or he blows this place up. Ha, ha, ha. With you stonkers as hostages, don't be silly. <laughs> he knows you can't do it, sir, because we're here. He's pretty clever. Right, sir? You really know how to hurt a guy. He surrender. We'll probably get a medal for this, eh, Mo? I wouldn't count on it, porcupine. All right, Frizzle Top, give me a hand with this thing. Oh, I hope this works. You got any last words? Oh, I mean, comments to make, Featherbrain? Yeah. How do I get out of this? Never mind. Let's get this thing off the ground. Stand by for takeoff. Contact. Contact. Oh! Pump, you knucklehead. Well, back to the old bicycle shop. Yeah. Ready for blast off? Do I have a choice? Contact and cut her loose. It's obvious to me we need a pilot. And a new bicycle. Careful with that gas, lunkhead. You know, if this thing works, we can call it a blimsicle. And if it doesn't work, you get a bopsicle. Okay, you jughead, start pumping. We'll be famous. We'll build a million of them. Yeah, this is progress. Nothing can stop us. We might get some competition from the railroads. I don't get the connection. Ernie just did. Yeah! Oh, well, you can't win them all. We can't win none of them. Back to the old bicycle shop. You think we're up high enough? Knock it off, will you? 
That kind of talk will give aviation a bad name. I'm ready. Okay, I got the pilot's checklist right here. Feet on pedals. Ouch! Safety belt fastened. Ouch! Seat adjusted for takeoff. Ooh! Wait a minute, lame brain. You're supposed to say check. Why do you keep saying ouch? Somebody left the tech on the bicycle seat. Stand by for launch. Good, I'm hungry. I mean this. You bubble brain. Here we go again. I know. Back to the old bicycle shop. Right like that. We knock ourselves out to invent a machine that flies, and along come a couple of wise guys and grab all the glory. Come on, I got an idea. There's a dangerous statement. Well, there's that doggy hawk. And there's those right brothers. They're taking off. Strange. How can they fly without bicycle power? Come on, you jugheads. Pump faster. Pump faster. It's no use. They're too fast for us. Oh, yeah? Get out your secret power, Curly. Aye, aye, sir. What the heck was that contraption, Wilbur? One of those newfangled jets, Orville. No need to worry, Wilbur. They'll never catch on. the greatest mural I ever painted. It's magnifico, no? No, uh, I mean, yes. It's stupendo. It's even good. There, it's all finished. You may put me down now. Okay. Oops! Yo! What shit do you bother finger baboons? It's not butter on my fingers, it's salad oil. I told you mutton has to stop eating salad with your fingers. All right, you need the wits. Come on down here. <laughs> I'm going out for a piece of pizza. Now clean up this mess, understand? Yes, sir. Why at the present? I have not finished speaking. Now be careful of the painting. Now gather to work. Imagine him worrying about us messing up his painting. Yeah, it's way up there on the ceiling. How could we mess it up? Don't be stupid, stupid. Lots of things could happen to that painting. See that tube of paint lying on the floor? Sure, I see it. Well, suppose I stepped on it, like this. <laughs> Well, just don't stand there. Let's get up there and fix it. Grab that mop and start swabbing. What happened to the painting? You wiped it off, you dope. Mr. Pinderetta isn't going to like this. I'll paint it back, just the way it was. But I'll need a model. Strike a pose, Larry. How's this? Terrible, but it'll have to do. Take a step back. OK. <laughs> you ever do anything right? How about me? I know how to pose. Okay, show off. Show me. Get back up here, you clumsy oafs. I got another plan. Hiya, you buttonhead. I want him flat against the ceiling. I hope you know what you're doing. Don't be ridiculous. Now strike a pose. Like this? That's good. Now hold it. Beautiful. Move him over to another spot. If I didn't use my head, we'd never get this painting finished. It's my head you're using. Ooh, and my back. Let's have another pose. Something classical this time. OK, fire two. Now, one more time, and make it good. This is my best pose, a profile. Are you kidding? That should do it, men. Take a look. Our oh, masterpiece. Hey, not bad for beginners. But it doesn't have that finished look. Grab a brush, you mutton heads. We've got some retouching to do. Gee, painting pictures is fun. Yeah, especially if you're a genius. Cut the chatter. Pinderetta will be back any minute. What's the bell? Oh, what down from there? You need a come poop on our skull. The masterpiece. What have you done with it? It's still there, sir. Take a look. <laughs> we made a few changes. That's right, you did. And now I'm gonna make a few changes in your head. 
And get out of here, you peasants! You know, tell the rock ahead! Get out of here! 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 Get out of